we may one day look, even if he loses this Super Bowl and say, man, he got to win one enough Super Bowls, especially if he ever gets Brady in a rematch where he to lose this one. He got him back, and we all saw it with our own eyes. No one was ever as good as Mahomes. That would be, I admit, it's a big mountain to climb, but he could do it. The 199th pick in the 2000 NFL Draft out of Michigan, now 43-year-old Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. The 10th pick out of the 2017 NFL Draft out of Texas Tech, now 25-year-old Patrick LeVon Mahomes II. Two very different stories, but one is arguably the greatest quarterback to ever play football, and the other has a chance to be very high on that list. Brady vs. Mahomes, Buccaneers vs. Chiefs, Super Bowl 55. We're going to cover all the news and storylines heading into the latest rendition of the National Football League Championship. Let's get into it. Okay, first off, Braylon, who do you think is winning this championship? Oh boy, that's not an easy first topic. I know that the Chiefs are considered three-point favorites, but I've seen analysts say that the talent gap is more. I think it will be a very close game, though, as Tom Brady in the playoffs is just pure magic. All the focus in this game seems to be on the QB matchup, and rightfully so, but I also think defense could be the deciding factor. I 100% agree. Both these quarterbacks have shown that they can step up in the right situation, and funnily enough, they're almost too good to make a difference. The quarterback... Um, Matchup is what everyone will be watching, but the real difference maker will come elsewhere. Look at how many points each team allowed during the regular season. The Bucks have the 8th best defense, and the Chiefs not far behind at 11. This appears to give the Bucks the slight edge, but honestly it's still a toss up there. Another point of conversation is the running backs. You want to touch on that, Braylon? Yeah, uh, Clyde edwards Alaire love saying that name by the way. Um, but he should be returning from his hip and ankle injuries, and if so, should lead the team in touches. The rookie out of LSU had a great start this season for the Chiefs, before tailing off and getting injured in Week 15. If Edwards delay or isn't healthy for the big game, LeVon Bell and Damian Williams will get the bulk of the running load. On the Buccaneers side, Ronald Jones III and Leonard Fournette will split the carries like they have been all season, and should make a pretty big impact. Neither team has a clear-cut number one running back, which makes the running aspect of the game pretty much unpredictable. Fun fact, the Bucks will be the first team to play in the Super Bowl in their own stadium. Building off of that, Andrew, what about all the crazy stats and records that could be set by these two superstar quarterbacks? I mean, well, for one, this is Tom Brady's 10th Super Bowl. 10th. If the Bucks win, it will be his 7th championship. 7th. Brady's been to three Super Bowls now since turning 40 years old. Three. He's been to the conference championship in 14 out of his 21 seasons. 14! Also, Tom Brady has only played one season with the Bucks at age 43. He's already become their all-time leader in playoff touchdowns. The Buccaneers have been a team for 45 years. Tom Brady is ageless and insane. On the other side, with the Chiefs win, Patrick being Holmes, Mahomes would become the youngest quarterback in history to win multiple Super Bowls. No matter who wins, there's records on the line. This is a little off topic, but just want to mention that as we're recording this, news is broken that my favorite player, Matthew Stafford, is expected to be traded from the Lions before the Super Bowl. Ah, sadness. But anyways, back to the Bucks and Chiefs. No one knows what, who will come out on top after the 6.30pm matchup on February 7th, but it'll definitely be fun to watch, and certainly will be history in the making, not just because of the Super Bowl, because obviously that makes history, but also because of Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Uh, wow, run on sentence much? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, make sure to subscribe to Sportsify News and check out our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and more. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Sportsify News. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and have a good day. We appreciate all of you very so much. <laughs> wow, run on set as much. Sportsify.